Jin out of the way. Yeah, smooth, smooth angle change there <laughs> from the ref. There. Exactly what happened here. It's a big left hook on the inside that catches Gonzalez. Goes down. Yung mga idol, breaking sa kakatapos na laban ng ating pambato kontra sa pambato ng Amerika. Ang laban na ito ni Sultan kontra kay Gonzales ay magsisilbing pantanggal kalawang sa Super Bantamweight Division kung saan nakuha nito ang timbang na 121.2 pounds. Ayon nga kay Jobin Jimenez ay tila mag stay si Sultan sa nasabing division. Muli nitong bubuhay ng natulog na karera ng Pinoy na halos isang taon na hindi na nga ito napalaban sa ibabaw ng lona. Kailangan nga lang maipanalo ni Sultan na kumbaga ito ang kanyang comeback fight na muling buhay ng kanyang karera sa mundo ng boxing. Bagamat tagilid si Sultan, sa batang boksingero kung saan limang taon ang tanda ng Pinoy sa pambatong ng Amerika, ay idagdag pa natin na hindi nga ito nabakante sa kanyang pro career. Huling ang napalaban si Gonzales ay nitong taon lamang, July 10 kontra kay Jose Alfaro na kanyang tinalo by unanimous decision. Ganun pa man ay tiwala nga rin ang karamihan na matutulad ito sa kanyang kababayan na dating nakalaban ni Sultan na si Sharon Carter na knockout lamang ang inabot pagdating naman sa kanilang tail of the tape. Si Frank Gonzales ay may edad na 26 years old, may 55 rounds na pakikipagbakbakan sa kanyang 15 professional bouts. Meron ditong 12 wins. Anim dito ay tinapos niya by a knockout. May tatlong talo. Isa itong orthodox fighter na may tangkad na 5-5. At meron itong 50% knockout ratio. Habang si Jonas Sultan naman ay may edad na ngayon na 31 years old. Meron na itong 171 rounds sa 24 bouts sa kanyang pro career. Meron na itong 18 wins. 11 dito ay tinapos niya by a knockout. May anim na talo isang orthodox fighter na may tangkad na 5-4. At meron na itong 61% knockout ratio. Ang laban ng binansagang Sean Porter ng Pinas ay magsisilbing pantanggal kalawang matapos mabakante ng mahigit isang taon sa pro boxing. Kaya't panoorin natin ang highlights ng kanilang bakbakan. Just miss with the uppercut. He's got to be careful throwing that uppercut from so far away. I know he's explosive, but there's a lot of opportunities to handle that shot. He left it hanging out a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. Here we see the big overhand shots and switching up that, those right hands nicely, throwing the uppercut from pretty far away, but he already had his man. He's already chasing him. That's why I said that was a good that was by the ref there, because there were big shots landing. It was a bit of a delayed reaction, but he was getting hit with some big shots. That. And good mobility by Christopher Young too, getting out of the way. Yeah, smooth, smooth angle change there. <laughs> there you go. Hard, stiff jabs. Don't move around. Looking for that left hook to land as well. But that's why fainting is so important, especially when you got a guy who's twitchy like Sultan is. You get that first move out of him at a distance, so you, can, you have time to make the adjustment. The loss of the... Intro WBO Bantamweight title fight to Paul Buckner was in Liverpool. Sultan trying to set himself up. Oh, and back in the town. Big punches. Christopher Young's going to have a conversation. That'd be what happened here. It's a big left hook on the inside. That catches Gonzalez. Goes down, gets hit. One, two extra shots. Sultan! Unanimous decision victory for Jonas Sultan. His Pro Box TV debut.